That's what the treaty says. But we should not forget that we are elected here for the people. We should have the best interests of people in mind, because that is the reason why they elected us here in the European Parliament. All these leaders of the European Parliament, they like to praise themselves every time when they go in a press conference to say that this is the most democratic institution of the European Union. The question to them is, is really so? Have you told these people in the Parliament, when you decided to strip their fundamental rights, why you have done it? You see, we have all these treaties, as my colleague said, that no medical treatment should be imposed on you unless you decide about it freely and under informed consent. Now, clearly what they do right now to condition the access in the parliament to have this green certificate is violating this freedom of people to choose what do they want to be back vaccinated with or tested with. But there's the other aspect. And the question that I address not only to you in the parliament, but to every European citizen to ask your own government, were you properly informed about what is going on? Because we had a lot of debates at the beginning of this year in the parliament where we demanded full access to the contracts signed between these companies that produce the vaccines and the European Union. And I quote from an article in Euroactive who says the following, you know, it's an article from January 22nd, 2021, that says the following. The contract signed between pharmaceutical company and the European Commission in November of 2020 was made available to MAPS on Tuesday in a redacted format after the company agreed to open the contract up to scrutiny. Say what? Say what? So you're imposing a medical product on the European citizens without them knowing what's in these contracts? Not only them knowing, but us, we don't know. So after a lot of pressure in the Parliament, as the article says, these contracts were disclosed to us and to the public. And I want to show you some of those pages. And you tell me if this is okay for the European citizens to be exposed to this situation where they cannot come to work, they cannot enter a store, they cannot go with their kids to schools, where they cannot freely move from one country to another unless in one situation is vaccinated with one of these products. So these are the contracts that were disclosed by the Commission with the approval of the company. This is unheard of. And I will just show you the pages. These are the pages. You see? They call this transparency these days. So this is the fundamental principle, right, of democracy. I'm asking you guys, is this transparency? Do you see anything? Because we don't. European citizens' money has been given by Ursula von der Leyen to these companies. What happened with those money? What are they? Why are they open with the people and fully transparent? So we all know what is going on. The difference between tyranny and democracy is very simple. When the government knows everything about you, that's tyranny. I know how it is to live in tyranny. When you know everything about your government, that's democracy. So this is where we are right now, praising this institution. It's the most democratic institution in the European Union. And even us as MEPS, as directly elected by the people, for the people, we haven't been able to see in these contracts. So as we said last week, we are here for you, and we will fight for you. I know many of you are struggling all across Europe, and many of you working for the European institutions are struggling right now. But look, as a former U.S. president said, 
Freedom, liberty is one generation away from extinction. We live that type of time right now. And it's our duty and our call 